Hey everybody, it's Missy again with the Hip Kit Club, and I have a new layout for you today, and I'm still using the 2016 August Hip Kits for this, and for this one, I chose this photo, <laughs> I'll talk about it in just a second, because it matched the Amy Tangerine Oh Happy Life papers, and it had the yellow, and it has that pinkish color, I guess, in my daughter's shirt, and I just thought it matched well. And I sped this first part up quite a bit because I wind up changing it completely. But I started out wanting to use a lot of pattern paper. Uh, I wanted to use that uh, black and white paper that's from Crate Paper Cute Girl. And the yellow and white scalloped paper that's also from Cute Girl. And then this very busy and colorful happy, happy, happy paper from Amy Tangerine. And I thought I would layer them up like this and then cover a lot of the center part with white paint and kind of blend out some of that busy pattern because this is extremely busy. And lately it seems like I've been gravitating toward white cardstock for a background. So every now and then I like to change it up and use pattern paper as a background. However, these are super busy. And so I thought, well, I will just add some white acrylic paint to this. I felt like gesso would have taken forever. And white paint is a little bit thicker and it covers quicker. But the texture is also different. So I took some time and did this. And I just wasn't loving it. I thought, I'll just keep going and see if I can, you know, make this happen. And again, this was an idea that I had in my head. I thought, you know, just give it a go and see what you can come up with. So I pulled a lot of the embellishments from the ephemera pack from the Amy Tangerino Happy Life. And I wanted to use this cute little piece that says loving it. And I wanted it to frame the bottom part of my picture. And so I fussy cut around the letters. And this is kind of going to be a sarcastic layout because... If you notice the picture, it's m my daughter and me, and we're wearing hairnets because this was from last year during her summer camp at her school. They took a field trip one day to Olive Garden before it opened, and they were going to get to go into the kitchen and take a little tour and look at behind the scenes of what goes on of making food. Well, she had no desire to wear that uh, hairnet, as you can see. The look on her face cracks me up. She looked so miserable wearing that thing. And so that picture just makes me laugh because, you know, it's just a hairnet. You can't even really feel it on your head. But she was not happy. And uh, she wore it, but still, it was just funny. Anyway, um, I decided to use some of the oil pastels from the color kit. And I'm trying to make that periwinkle blue color. And at first I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. But I blended the turquoise color with the purple color. And voila, you get the perfect shade of that periwinkle blue. I added some aqua green and some yellow and like I said, I'm fast forwarding through this because I do wind up changing it. I gave it all I had, and I did not throw that away. I'm going to use it for something, but it just winds up not being my background. I don't know. I think it was just too busy. I just had too much going on. But sometimes that's just the process. That's how it goes. You try something, and it just does not turn out like you anticipated. And uh, you just have to keep going with it and see if you like it eventually. And I layered a bunch of the die cuts and some pattern paper together. And here's where I changed my mind. I, I, I let it sit for a while and then I said, you know, this is just not, I'm not feeling it. So I went through the cut files for this month and I picked one of the ones that Kim Watson designed. And it says, yeah, 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 all over the place. And I thought that was really funny because that kind of looks like what my daughter's saying. Yeah, 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 whatever. This is not fun. So I got out some white cardstock, I know, big shocker, added some white gesso, and then I'm going to do the same type of thing that I just did on that other background with the, uh, the Prima pastels, and I wanted to create that beautiful periwinkle color again, so I mixed the blue and the purple together. And if you saw Erit's last video, then you notice how she used white cardstock with white gesso, 
And then she did a lot of smudging these gelato, or not gelatos, the pastels with her finger. And I loved how that looked. So I started out using the packaging technique here. And then I just kind of gravitated toward using my finger. And it's a totally different look. I added just a little tiny bit of water to get the smudging going. But then once you start smudging it dry, you can really see the texture of the cardstock underneath it. And it's just very, very cool. And then on top of the gesso, you're able to smudge it and blend it a lot more, a lot easier. But you can really see some texture going. And it's really, really cool. And so I tended to just use my fingers for this. And I think I'll do this again the next time I use these pastels. And I did a little bit of just a, just a smidgen of water and then I would use the napkin to kind of do a little bit of dabbing. Um, but my idea from this is I wanted to, I cut the yeah, yeah, yeah on one of the Amy Tangerine papers. It's the one with the, I guess the ledger, I guess you could call it. It's a very light minty green teal color, I guess you could say. It's very soft. And I wanted these bright colors to peek through it. And so that's just what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm adding some of the periwinkle shades, some of the golden yellow, a little bit of a darker aqua teal color. And I'm just drawing and scribbling and smudging. And it's just kind of making its own shape. It's really neat. And a lot of that's going to be covered up, but I wanted it to just be able to be kind of like a collage of colors showing through the cut file. And I wanted to add a little bit of that red orange color. So I pulled out a couple of different shades, the orange red and these, all these pastels have names. I don't have them right in front of me, but I'm just kind of going by what they look like. That orangey red color and then almost like a reddish brown color. You can really come up with some pretty shades by blending these together. And this is a different color scheme for me. Um, I think maybe that's why I was challenging to begin with, but I made it work and I really love how this background looks. I love this smoky faded look, totally different look than using the packaging technique. Very, very fun. So I just want a little bit of that burnt red color burnt orange, whatever you want to call that, a rusty brick color, kind of peeking out from behind my layers there. I love how that looks. I think it looks really, really pretty. So I'm going to come in with the cut file and get that set just how I like it. And then I'm going to do a little bit of splattering. Now these are just some shimmers that I have in my stash that kind of match the pastels. That's a color called Blue Jeans. And I just wanted to add a little bit more interest to the background. I tried to match up the colors that I already had there. I do a little bit of the periwinkle, some yellow, and then that brick color. Oh yeah, I do come in with a different shade of yellow. This is more of the golden yellow there. It is just so much fun creating backgrounds like this. I know a lot of people like clean white backgrounds and they don't do a lot of mixed media. And I love that look as well. I'm just not that great at creating it. Uh, this is more of, I don't know how to describe it. It's just sort of like a, a therapy, a therapeutic type of thing for me to kind of get messy and get stuff all over my hands and just make a mess. It's just fun for me. So I've got that background done. And now I'm going to work on getting everything put into place. I believe this is this is my fifth layout using the August kits and I still have a ton of stuff left and I know this this September kits are uh, pretty much ready to be shipped probably any day now so be on the lookout for the September kits if you ordered them you know they're gonna be awesome 
So for my title, I was torn because I wanted to use some of the Dear Lizzie thickers, those big words, but it was just too much. I felt like for this layout, since I had the yeah, yeah, yeah going on in the background, I didn't want something super huge down there. And so I tore the word adventure from the pattern paper. And these are some of those really cool wood veneer thickers. They have adhesive on the back. They're awesome. And I'm going to use that die cut. That's also from Amy Tangerine. And my title is going to be, well, right now it's going to be Happy Hairnet Adventure. Because obviously I'm happy, but she's not. So I'm going to come back in later and add more to that title. Now I want to use this clear sticker, but if I would have just adhered it as is on the layout, it would not be true to color and it would be hard to read in places because of the background. And so I just stuck it down to some white cardstock and cut it out. And now when I put it down there, it's, it's true to its color and you can read what it says. So I'm going to add some thread and I went through my stash and picked out coordinating colors. I, of all the colors I have, I do not have that periwinkle blue color or that cornflower blue, whatever, whatever the appropriate word is for that, that really pretty blue. I've got to find some thread in that color. So it, what I did is I'm going to be using a burnt orange color over on the left and then the aqua color on the right. I'm going to come in later and do some yellow. I did some stitching and I used a light blue that's kind of matching that periwinkle color, but not completely. And then I did some of the orange on top of the word adventure and below that clear sticker. And I just love the detail that machine stitching or hand stitching gives. And it also gives some fun texture and little pops of color. So, you know, for this layout, the more I kept going, the more I thought, well, I'm going to use that space to the right of the photo to write a lot of journaling because, you know, most of the times my layouts and my photos are about everyday moments. I don't really have a huge story to tell other than, you know, this day you looked so cute or this day we had fun in the pool, uh, things like that. And for this one, there actually was a story. You know, I wanted to explain why we were wearing hairnets and why my daughter looks so depressed. And so I thought, I'm going to use, I'm going to write a lot of journaling on this. And so I thought, I need a title that kind of is catchy and explains sort of what we're doing. And then I noticed the happy die cut and I thought, you know, let's just make this a sarcastic type of thing. And so... I'm going to wind up going through that little Amy Tan book and picking out several little stickers that just sort of go with this. You know, and I hadn't even planned that, but it's just funny because there are a lot of ones that say, you know, blah and OMG and haha, -ha, LOL. Just made me laugh. And so I thought, I need to use all these. That one says, nope. And that's just what her face is saying. It's so funny. And I'm going to wind up using the little tiny alphas in the back of this book and spell out not so above happy. So it's going to be not so happy hairnet adventure. And I love that oh dear. And that's oh yeah. <laughs> Had to have another yeah on there. Those little clear stickers are super fun. And there are a ton of them in there. They really are a lot. So I drew on some lines. And this is where my journaling is going to go. And I think this is going to s sort of wrap it up. I do a couple things once I turn off the camera. Um, I'm going to go back into that white and yellow scallop paper that, I, that you saw in the beginning from C Cute Girl and cut a row of those yellow scallops out and attach it to the very bottom of the layout. You can see that there. I did add some black splatters and the date. And I underline my journaling. And that's the final page. Once I got this going, it was really fun to put together. Those, those clear stickers really made this fun for me. Because, you know, like I said, it's sarcastic. And just kind of poking fun at, at, at the picture. And the memory makes me laugh. So let me know if you have any questions about this. Uh, any of the cut files or any of the techniques. The, anything about the pastels. Anything at all. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned because I've got more videos coming up soon. Have a great day.